So we're here with some introduction to parentheses, which is really introduction to order of operations. Now, if you have never heard, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I would be surprised, but the order of operations goes parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract. And it's important and some math teachers don't understand or they skip over the fact that when we do multiplication and division, it needs to be done from left to right. We don't always multiply first. We do whatever we see first. If we see division first on the left, the division happens. And then the multiplication. And the same goes true with adi for addition and subtraction. We do it from left to right. And so we need to be able to remember to flip multiplication or addition and flip addition and subtraction uh, if the division happens to come before the multiplication or the subtraction happens to come before the addition. We'll get more into that in subsequent lessons, but basically what we've got here is we need to recognize that if we have a set of parentheses, the work inside parentheses needs to be done before anything else is done. And so what we have is six minus two is inside parentheses, that's going to produce a four. And the parentheses are actually going to go away at that point because nothing there's nothing left inside the parentheses to be done. We keep everything else exactly the same as it was. We get four divided by two, which is going to equal two. I'm curious if Alex explains it the same way. Let's take a look really quick. They do. And so our answer is gonna be two. All right, we will try another. Eight divided by two plus three. And so completing the work inside parentheses first, we have eight divided by two is four plus three. Four plus three makes seven. And we'll do a couple more. Six minus two inside parentheses divided by two. Now it's important to recognize that if those parentheses weren't there, this two divided by two would be the first thing that I would do because we would do division before we would do subtraction. But we do have parentheses and so the parentheses are guiding us and telling us what needs to be done first. So six minus two is gonna make a four. Four divided by two is two. That's actually the same exact problem that we got on the first one, so we're gonna get rid of it. Keep getting repeats on Alex, five plus four. times two. Five plus four is gonna give us nine, times two is going to be 18. My expectation is that you do the work exactly how I do the work when I'm writing it. I don't expect people to be skipping steps and this kind of stuff. I've been doing math for a really long time and all that skipping steps does is cause problems. You might be brilliant and that's great. I'm happy for you. But if you skip steps and don't write down all of your work, you're going to get things wrong for no reason. Well, the reason would be laziness actually. So don't be lazy, write down all of your steps, show all of your work and things will work out well. Three divided by three is one. Okay, that's it for this one. Hope this was helpful.